What are the documents you need to present to the Immigration Department of New Zealand to prove that you're a bona fide uh, student uh, or bona fide student? The simplest way to prove your credentials with Immigration New Zealand is to be honest, is to be truthful and put documents that are genuine. There are some idiots in the industry who are all this third grade, fourth grade agencies and companies which encourage good students to, uh, you know, do stupid things like uh, putting, uh, creating fake documents to cover a gap in their studies or a gap in their career or, you know, they, they, they can basically give all kinds of terrible advice to young students. And I have been interacting with Immigration New Zealand for almost 15 years now and nothing works better with Immigration New Zealand than an honest client. A client who tells the truth just the way it is, a client who puts a genuine document and if there is a gap in the studies or is, uh, you know, in his uh, uh, work experience, they are able to coherently explain on an, in an interview or work with a good organization like AJV where we can explain it clearly in a cover letter and say, hey, look, this guy Pedro Kiwi Man is a good guy, but unfortunately there was a break for a year or a couple of years in his tenure and the reasons for the break was either you know either health or something else and we can explain it and then we also do some advocacy with immigration new zealand advocacy means we absolutely uh, support your application and say we would not have taken up this guy's case if we were not convinced he is not genuine uh, so you know we put in our own uh, words of support in your favor which is called advocacy so we advocate on your behalf and because we have a very good uh, uh, track record with Immigration New Zealand, they know that AJV as a team will never ever do anything either with fake documents or with fake clients or people trying to enter New Zealand for the wrong reasons. We have never done it historically, nor will we ever do it. And like I said, we are a bunch of thoroughbred professionals, including some ex-immigration officers and licensed immigration advisors who are all bound by a code of conduct and ethics. So that's the best way to prove